guys, welcome to my channel. So I am back with another sketchy Tuesday. I hope that your Tuesday is going well and that you're having a nice day, that you're staying warm if it's snowy and cold outside. My name is Alice if you're new here and today I'm gonna to be working on a sketch for my Patreon on this toned blue mixed media paper from Strathmore. If you've never used this paper before, I really, really like this paper. It is, as it said, a mixed media paper, but it's really smooth. A lot of the mixed media papers that I've used in the past have a very like thick tooth to them, and this is a very smooth paper, and I personally, I don't know if I would call it a mixed media paper because I haven't had great success using any water-based media on this paper, but that said, it is such a beautiful toned paper for using dry media on. Uh, for any dry media, I love this paper. They have it in a brown as well, but I only have the blue. And as you can kind of see, the blue is more of a blue gray kind of tealy kind of stone slate color. And that is the uh, technical term, obviously, for that color. <laughs> so... What I'm working on this sketch for is for my Patreon. It's one of the rewards for one of my Patreon tiers. Even though I am super, super behind on that right now, I am trying to catch up. And luckily they have been super understanding. So if you are a Patreon, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I am working on catching up. My health just, you guys know, it kicked me in the butt. But I want to, when I'm working on these sketches, I like to make them look a little bit more finished, but they're still sketches, you know? So that's one of the things that I really like using this toned paper for. This paper specifically, because it's really, really smooth, it takes dry media so, so nicely. Colored pencils work so beautifully on it. You can get really nice smooth lines. It doesn't get caught up on any tooth. And a lot of times when the paper I find is like when it's really textured and toothy, the colored pencil kind of, you get more colored pencil dust and then that can smear on your like image if you brush it away or if you don't notice and you kind of smudge over it. So I find that for sketching, I really, really enjoy the actual feel and the smoothness of the paper. It's very thick and it feels kind of like cardstock. It's got a very similar kind of texture to that. But the actual paper itself is so beautiful as well because I think I'm, I can't remember if I mentioned this before or not, but they also have this paper in tan. And uh, if you look at the actual paper itself, it has like little, you can kind of see the fibers and they're like a little bit darker, which is just kind of a nice texture to have. But the toned paper in general, like it doesn't have to be this specific type of paper, but using any type of toned paper to sketch on, I'm a huge, huge fan of because you can start with your sketch and you can kind of sketch a little bit lighter to get your, um, uh, what is it called? You know, kind of your, essential sketch in your base sketch and because it's toned you can kind of do a little bit lighter hand and it doesn't quite uh show up as much you know it's a little gonna blur into the background a little bit more so you can build up your sketches without it looking as muddied or as thick i really hope that makes sense i really don't know how to describe what i'm talking about and i'm hoping that that makes sense to you that you can kind of when you vary the pressure things kind of hide a little bit more in the background because it's a mid-tone i hope that made sense but obviously the bigger advantage is that you can go in and you can add in highlights on top of this because it is a mid-tone. So you can kind of add in the darker parts and then pull out the highlights. And so if you're just doing a simple sketch, you can do the sketch in like a colored pencil and then add in some highlights or a couple little pops of color. And the whole piece looks a lot more finished and a lot more pulled together than if you just did like a pencil sketch on like just some sketchbook paper and like ripped it out or whatever. I'm really hoping all of that made sense. I am gonna kind of move on a little bit from that because I, I feel like I just got very confused in my words and I'm just hoping that I conveyed what I'm trying to talk to you about to you in an effective way. So that aside, that's why I'm really enjoying this paper and I've really been digging working on it. I haven't, like I said, I need to go buy the tan and I should go do that because it's a really nice paper and they do sell it in sketchbooks and stuff as well. I'm gonna stop talking about paper. Uh, so the actual sketch itself, I'm doing a unicorn girl and I wasn't really sure what to draw for this. So I was FaceTiming Momo, AKA Monique Renee Art here on YouTube. I will link all her stuff down in the description box if you'd like to check her out. She's extremely talented. Um, and I was FaceTiming her and I was like, hey, I don't know what to draw. So give me two words. And the words that she gave me were unicorn and she gave me the word tea. And I was like, cool, unicorn tea. I like, I like both of those things. I like unicorns, I like tea. 
Unicorn tea actually sounds pretty morbid, like that's not quite what I meant, but you know. <laughs> um, so I decided to draw a unicorn girl. I draw a lot of deer girls, but I don't know that I've ever drawn a unicorn girl, which is rather strange for me actually because unicorns are my favorite mythological creature. I feel like right now unicorns have been having a moment or were having a moment. I don't know. I think they might be a little played out right now, but the unicorns that kind of had a moment in like the late 2000s are not the kind of unicorns that I was like really into, you know? Like I feel like it's like a Lisa Frank unicorn right now with like the unicorn poops and the unicorn farts. And that's not quite like what I was into and like all the rainbow and stuff. I was more into the more subtle unicorns, like the last unicorn and kind of the like white sparkly silver glittery unicorns or like gold or whatever, a little bit more neutral colors but I always liked unicorns. I had a bunch of unicorn statuettes and I have my memory box from like when I was a kid is like in a little wooden box with like a metallic unicorn on top. So I really like unicorns. So I drew a unicorn girl and I decided to draw her a little bit more modern, like updated, I guess. Um, but I wanted her hair to have kind of a 70s vibe because I'm really into 70s hair. And I did her holding a nice steaming cup of tea and the steam from the tea rises up and it forms a little heart. So I don't know, I just, I just thought it was cute and I really liked it. So it was just nice to draw something fun, you know? Like I've been doing a lot of these larger pieces and I've been absolutely loving them and I really feel like it's fueling my creative energy, but it's also really nice to do stuff that's just like really fun and self-indulgent and simple and smaller and you know, it's just nice. It's nice to have a good balance in your art, I think. So I don't know. I enjoyed working on it. And like all my pieces, it's not perfect, but I am happy with it. And I added in some little pink blush. I haven't worked with adding too much color to like this paper yet or this blue paper, but I tried it and I think it came out pretty cute. Um, I love adding just like the little highlights of the blushes. So I really enjoyed doing that. And also the colored pencils that I'm using are Prismacolor colored pencils. I really like the Prismacolors. I know that, I don't know, Prismacolors break really, really easily and I don't feel like they sharpen as well. And I also feel like the quality has decreased over time, but I still haven't found any colored pencils I like better than them. I have tried the Polychromos and I did not like them. Uh, I mean, they weren't bad, I guess, but they were pigmented and beautiful and all of that. It's just that the feel of them, I prefer the waxy texture that Prismacolor has. It feels more smooth to me. And I felt like the Polychromos had a little bit more of a textured texture, but I am using a Polychromos for the white. Textured texture, is that a word? I don't know. <laughs> That's not a word, that's a phrase, and it's not very descriptive. I'm gonna move on. I gave her a pink and blue horn because I like the kind of candy corn colors, not candy corn, cotton candy colors. I'm still in Halloween, like my brain is still in Halloween. How, sorry, I know this is rambly, but it's Sketchy Tuesday, right? Side note, where did 2019 go? Uh, just, just wondering because I'm not quite like, did it happen? Because I feel like this year has gone by so fast. I do not know how it is already December. I have so many plans for you guys that I'm so excited to share and I'm just hoping I can get them all out in time with the holiday season. So, I mean, ah, like Christmas is coming up. Are you guys ready for Christmas? Because I'm not. And are you making gifts? Because let's talk about DIY Christmas gifts because I'm wondering if I should make a video that's like easy... So I'm gonna do an art supply gift guide, like an artist gift guide, like gifts to get artists. But I also kind of wanna do a video that's like easy DIY gifts that like artists can make, like poor artists, you know? So I don't know. Let me know if that would be an interesting video to you. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but it might be. Anyway, this is the finished piece. As you can see, I was able to add in that white for the steam, which I think looked so cool. I like it a lot. I hope my Patron likes it a lot. Um, and I think that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me sketch this little unicorn girl. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. Thank you.